Welcome! This is my review of Transformers Generations Warpath. And as you can see, Generations Warpath does have a tank mode for his vehicle form. Uh, the turret itself does rotate all the way around and it can rotate in either direction. Uh, you have a gun here that goes up and down. And you have these uh, as well that can go into various positions. You have a projectile here. And uh, first that shoots off. And we'll get that out of the way because it just gets in the way for the transformation. So detail wise, uh, one of the things I really, really enjoy about this figure is on the side of the tank, you can see here it says K4-90W, which uh, if you spell it out alphanumerically, it actually spells Kapow, you know, Kapow being one of the phrases that Generation 1 Warpath uh, is known for. You got the Autobot symbol there. And on the other side, you have ZOW-333, or if you spell it out, again, alphanumerically, it's Zowie, uh, which is another one of the phrases that uh, Generation 1's Warpath like to use. And you can see on the bottom here, on the treads, you have this fantastic silver paint all along the tread. You got a nice uh, detail with the actual treads as well. Uh, here's a look at the underside of the vehicle mode. And uh, very nice. Now, I have to say, one of the things I really like about this figure in either mode, either robot or vehicle, is the way the color matches here on the left, or sorry, here on the right is the Generation 1 Warpath figure, and the colors are very, very similar. Uh, I would say this is, uh, the, new, the newer toy is probably a darker, darker red, but pretty close. I, I really enjoy that uh, detail there. So uh, you also get uh, four different places where you can actually clip on some weapons. Uh, so just as an example here, taking the weapon from like uh, Human Alliance Basic Ice Pick, you can clip on the little weapons there. And uh, I just happened to find out that the uh, Voyager Recon Ironhide's weapons do fit on here as well. You can peg them on like that uh, for some extra firepower, uh, extra playability, which is nice. So with that said, that's all there really is for the vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at the transformation into robot mode. So the first step in the transformation is you actually push this gun inside of the tank. And what that does is reveals, or it's a dramatic head reveal for the Generation 1 Warpath. And there you go. So you can actually have his head out in vehicle form if you want to. So that's the first step. Uh, second thing they tell you to do uh, is to rotate these up like so, as you can see there. Then you want to come here in the front. There's this gray piece of plastic. You want to grab onto it and it detaches. And you want to take the whole section and rotate it down like that. And you can kind of see how things are going here. Uh, these actually become the legs. So you want to rotate these down like so, uh, detach them. So now you've got the legs spread apart. What you need to do actually now is bring out the feet and close up the leg. Uh, in order to bring out the foot, uh, this whole thing is going to become the foot. You actually have to come back here and untab it from the side there. Otherwise, you can't rotate it forward. So once you've got it untapped, you can see there it rotates like that. And um, looking back here, what you want to do is close up that like so. And then rotate it forward like that. So you've got the one leg there. Uh, you want to do the same deal over here, untab it from the side, rotate forward, close up the leg, and then rotate around the, the entire leg. Uh, there you go. That is the lower part of Warpath taken care of. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of the arms. Now the arms uh, operate in a similar fashion as far as transformation goes. You want to grab onto this, open this panel up, uh, do that on both sides, and uh, looking at it from like this, what you can do then is unfold the arm, and you can see inside here is the hand. And uh, let's rotate that out and close up. And there you've got one arm done. And you, in a similar fashion, of course, you do the, the other arm and take out the hand. Close up the arm. Now the final phase in the transformation is to attach the torso to the waist. Uh, the waist section here, you can see there is a little tab hole. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this piece as far as it goes. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that this piece here, this red and silver piece, 
is flush against this gray piece. So you're going to have that all flush together, like so. And then it's just going to tab right into place. And here is Generations Warpath in robot mode. And I have to say, the scale on this figure is very nice. Of course, this is a deluxe class figure, and I think that's a really appropriate scale for the Warpath character as well as the Warpath figure. Now, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details of this figure in robot mode. Okay, so let's talk about the details on this figure. Well, first off, let's take a look at the paint. You can see here he's got silver and gold on his shoulders. He's got some more silver here on his uh, chest area and some gold here on the waist. And of course, you still have the silver parts uh, for the treads, only now they're under the arms and they're on the feet. So, very, very nice. And of course, you can still use the uh, missile launcher here uh, if you would, if you desire to. In terms of articulation, uh, his head does rotate. You know, shoulders go all the way around, arms go out, uh, swivel at the elbow as well as a bend, and then there is no waist articulation, but you do have uh, ball jointed hips, bend at the knee, and that's really all you have for articulation. But I, like I said, he looks like a fantastic figure, right size for the Warpath figure. I think uh, even though people would probably like to see a Voyager class, I still think a deluxe class sized figure is the way to go. Um, now, as a comparison, let's go ahead and transform the Generation 1 toy, uh, Warpath. Very simple, you can see he's got uh, the arms coming out here and you know his head pops out right here. Now if you take a look at this head sculpt, and I know it's kind of worn, but you take a look at that head sculpt and you take a look at the new one, you can definitely see, you know, a, a vague similarity. The face sculpt, uh, especially on the newer toy, reminds me a lot of, you know, have you seen the movie, the 1980s movie, The Black Hole? And they have these sentry robots, which are red. And the face, and as, as well as the color, reminds me a lot of those sentry robots in the Black Hole movie. But nonetheless, here is the old and the new toy. And uh, yeah, you can see there's definitely some differences in size, uh, no doubt about that. Uh, but like I said before, the colors match pretty well, which is always good to see in the newer toy. And as you can see, you've got the Autobot symbol there, as well as there, so really nicely placed on the arms, even in robot mode. Now, same thing with the lettering for Kapow and for Zowie. They happen to be on the side of the legs, which is kind of cool. So really nice placement of the uh, symbols, even in uh, robot mode. Now, one final thing you can do, you can actually take the uh, gun here and extend it all the way out. So you can have a longer gun if you want to, uh, which is nice. And of course, it does have the same articulation as it did in the vehicle mode. So I found a really cool way to display Deluxe Class Warpath. What I've done here is I've given the weapons from Voyager Class Recon Ironhide to Deluxe Class Warpath. And I have to say that big gun really looks good in Warpath's hands. And, you know, a figure like Warpath with the name Warpath really needs a big weapon. So you do have some playability there. You can fit those weapons in there just fine. And they look pretty awesome. I think Hasbro has done an exceptional job with their classics slash reveal the shield slash generations line of figures. They've done a fantastic job of taking generation one toys and generation two toys and updating them to modern standards of articulation and playability. I mean, they, they really capture the essence of both the generation one character and the generation one toy. So fantastic job Hasbro. Keep up the good work. Uh, don't stop carrying the torch. Uh, keep putting out the fantastic uh, Generations line you've been working on. Uh, I do appreciate the Dark of the Moon toys, but you got to have and got to continue on with the Generations line. There's so many more figures we could see uh, that need updating, and it would be fantastic uh, to see you know a whole another line, uh, a whole another series of, of, of Generations uh, Transformers to come in the future. So. Uh, I'm pe keeping my fingers crossed. I hope that uh, Hasbro, like I say, just keeps on and pushing out these great, great 
uh, homages and updates to original uh, Generation 1 uh, toys. So with all that said, this has been my review of Transformers Generations Warpath. I definitely recommend you pick up this figure. Two thumbs up Hasbro. Good job.